We'll keep him in tonight just for observation. I am sick and tired of having to justify my clinical judgment to you, to the ward manager, or any other Tom, Dick, or Harriet who thinks they know something about psychiatry because they read the Agony Art pages, or they have bought Anthony Clare's latest book, or otherwise. How would you manage this patient? Others are waiting, and we owe it to them as much as to Mr. Goodall, and much as it pains you, Dr. Nash. This is an acute ward, not an obtuse ward. How do you feel at the moment, Billy? Can be very frightening talking in front of all these people. Would you prefer it if I spoke to you alone? Later on. That's okay. Well, obviously, we need more time for assessments. Dr. Miller, will you take daily mental states, see how he fares, routine bloods, unmedicated? And observe him unmedicated for now, and keep him on level one observations. I'm tired of having my methods constantly under... Understood. Under undermined and, and what I mean by undermined is, 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 is undervalued. The what whole I mean by point undervalued of your time here is that you should benefit both you and the SHO on my team. Dr. Miller has a very fine medical pedigree. Look, all I'm trying to say is that I'm trying to help, I'm trying to do my job, and she seems intent on sabotaging any progress that I'm making. Calm now, Daniel. There is enough paranoia in this hospital already. Could you join me in my office, please? Do you think that was wise? Well, well, I thought it was necessary, but then maybe that's just a little obtuse. Danny, for God's sake. Colin Goodall took his own life at 9 o'clock this morning and jumped off the roof. No one is more sorry than I. Daniel. It can happen in any ward, in any hospital, whenever any patient kills himself. Well, Colin Goodall is no exception to the rule. Yeah, but Moira's taking it really badly. She really warned him. We all did. That brings me to the next point. Are you all right? Oh, I'm uh, fine. Uh, chipper. Pizza. Oh, don't this thing open. You no, know, I learnt this in the canteen of the Royal Edinburgh. Hey. Live with your lot, Miss Robb. That is my advice to you, like the rest of us. Do you think somebody can answer that bastard's phone? Shut Thank you, Mr. Clark. Ah, no problem. Yeah. She worked fine now. Oh, good luck. Cheers. And excuse me for mentioning this, but keep taking your tablets. Hmm? No, even if I'm feeling better. Especially if you're feeling better, take your lithium, stay in control, and I'm sure you'll be fine. Here for a meeting with the chairman of the self cutting ward building committee, a Dr. Daniel Nash. Dr. Nash around. He's not here. Oh, evidently. I sent him home. He, he's got flu. If you do speak to him, will you remind him that dance therapy is best handled by dance therapists? <sighs> Dr. Nash hasn't called in this morning? No, he didn't. He might still have flu. Could you ask him to see me as soon as he gets here? If he gets here. Oh. Revision? Better late than never. I'd like to use Empronil in place of the inpatient SSRIs. Just for a trial period, see if it helps with nausea. Well, straight away? Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Harvey, I don't know if we've got I any I can get now. you some later today. Oh, well, Scamp is great value. Very positive effect with the patients. Just keep him on a short leash, hmm? Like us all, Dr. Harvey. Excuse me.